Solomon was providing nuggets of wisdom that I believe every single human being needs to grasp because it's going to affect some part of your life. And one thing I love about the Proverbs is that they're so real and practical. We're actually taking the time to go through this first uh, chapter of Proverbs and look at what Solomon was actually dealing with and what he was talking to us about and how it affects our lives in very specific ways. I think that there is a difference between dreams and fantasies. That's why I'm saying this. There's a lot of things that, we, you know, you hear the phrase all the time, pursue your dreams, go after your dreams. I believe personally there's a difference between dreams and fantasies. God gave Joseph a dream. It was not something that he conjured up in his own imagination. Fantasies are those thoughts and images and pictures that we conjure up. It's not a dream, it's a fantasy. And so many times people are pursuing fantasies and they think, they honestly do, they think it's a dream. God gives dreams and vision. The enemy provides fantasies and imagination. That's why it tells us to cast down vain imaginations. Don't say cast down vision, don't say cast down dreams. It says cast down vain imaginations, fantasies. Isn't that great to know? So people go through so many unnecessary trials and pains simply because they're being led by their own desires, their own fantasies. What many believe is the pursuit of God, their dream, is actually the pursuit of fantasies. Riddles help us to learn the difference between dreams and fantasies. Did you know that? God allows the riddles, those tough questions, that stuff you can't answer, to help us discern the difference between did I get this from God or is this just a fantasy that I've been holding on to? Wow. This kind of intense opposition or questioning quickly brings you to the point where you cannot, where you cannot believe God ever had a plan for you in the first place. Sometimes the questions come so hard and the things are so difficult to answer. You can get to the point where you're like, I don't really believe God even had no word for me. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> so that's why I say go back to square one. What's the last thing he told you? I wrote this song back in 1993. Uh, we had been through so much foreclosure, joblessness, all kinds of stuff. So I wrote this song. It said, we were faced with deadlines before the bills came due. We asked a miracle from God, but the mortgage fell through. I know what the Bible said, but still my dream is dead. Confess the positive verse, mere words that fell to earth. Square one, did I really hear God's voice? Square one, understand what I say. Square one, have I totally counted the cost? Square one, dare to truly obey. Satan brings the evil deeds, destroys and steals desires. But I thought this was a trial to show God's overcoming power. Is my motive selfishness, my inner goal simply pride? Want to know from this day on how to walk by God's side. Square one, did I really hear God's voice? Square one, understand what I say. Square one, have I totally counted the cost? Square one, dare to truly obey. Square one. <laughs> Go back to what was the first thing he told me. Because we done done it. Go after a house, God ain't said don't get. Go move to an apartment, God said don't go there. Buying a car, God said ain't said do it. Just going after stuff. Trying to fulfill the American fantasy. So there's a lot of piercing. The Bible even talks about that, the chasing and pursuing of riches. Many people have pierced themselves with many sorrows going after all of this stuff. It's very, very true. Answering riddles. Get back to the original thing God spoke over your life. Get back. God, what did you say? Just about everybody in this room, you've had at some point in your life where the word of the Lord has come to you, even in prophetic utterance, encouragement, words of wisdom, words of knowledge. We're here in Harrisburg today, not because this was our idea. 
elders, prophets laid their hands upon us, declared the word of the Lord over us. We were sent forth so that every time the shaking has come, <laughs> All in family, y'all know what we do. Go back and play that video. God, what did you say? Square one, did I really hear God's voice? Square one, understand what I say. <laughs> Square one, have I totally counted the cost? Square one, dare to truly obey. Woo! But God allows the riddles to shake you to get you back to square one. Y'all gonna do that song for me, ain't y'all? Y'all, they back there, man, we can't wait to get to the studio. We gonna put that down. <laughs> so seek his wisdom on how to bring it to pass. Don't try to pull it off and make it happen. We're in this building today. Once we, you know, we are, all the Urban Life family know the story. We just quit, quit trying. Just, okay, Lord, whatever. You gonna have to do this. And I'm just sitting in a meeting and someone says, there's a, some space available over at the United Church Center. Okay, I'll go check it out. We go and check it out, and they, when I got here, they was like, well, the, pace, the space that we was advertising, somebody already filled it. But just today, we were informed that another client is getting ready to move out. Do you guys want it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, can we look at it first? And we looked at it, loved it. Then they told us such things as not only do you get the office space, but you have access to the dining hall and the kitchen and all the meeting rooms. And all you got to do is just book it. God. Square one. Did I get it? Hear God's voice. Because when it's God, stuff just starts falling into place. Yes, you have opposition. But you don't have to try to make nothing come together. I love it when God puts us, me and Carol call this being back in the flow. <laughs>